we are focusing on the California poppy, which is a nice plant, even aesthetically a nice plant, and we are uh, trying to compare developmental processes, how development is controlled in this plant, and compare it with other plant species to figure out how the genetic control of development might have might have had changed uh, during evolution. It's virus-induced gene silencing experiment, uh, introducing a way to knock down a gene or create a knockout. In the loss of function of the gene, you can infer what the function of the gene in that species is. So in this particular case, um, we are very happy to have established a very nice uh, method in being able to knock down a particular gene in our species. It's causing uh, the floral organs to be mosaic, which means that they're um, mixed in type. Like maybe the, the petals and the stamens could be fused in one of the petals. One of the stamens looks like a petal or has the same kind of tissue. We were still very surprised in looking at uh, the plants that Sarah produced after knocking out this particular gene. The way the flower shape changed was very dramatic and um, so the flowers seem to be kind of undecided in what to do, whether to become a flower or not. Before you see a phenotype, you don't know anything about the function of the gene. And then we saw these weird buds with a lot of sepals and they had kind of difficulties to open up because there were, there were so many uh, sepals surrounding the petals. So the petals were kind of much more folded. To see it work and something happen, we have something to write about, you know, something to publish. We are happy to, we have this technology and Sarah is among the first students who actually employs it to study a particular developmental gene.